Hi everyone, very very interesting. Yesterday there was a football competition from England. They won the tournament. A team called West Ham. It was a European football competition and they won it. First trophy that they have won in 43 years and came in a very very difficult tournament. That went in by the way. So very very interesting. 43 years this football club have not won a specific competition and they won Let's just say a, uh, a very, very uh, challenging European competition and uh, not the elite of the elite competition, but something very, very difficult to win. And it got me thinking because they won. They won the game only with like a minute or two to go of the match. It was like literally one of the last few kicks of the game and they won it. And it got me thinking 43 years over there. It could have went. They might not have won and everything else, but they didn't give up. They had to go probably play, play around 25 games even to get to the final and then they finally win it. And even to qualify for it, they had to do exceptional things. And we can take a lesson even from this football competition, seemingly uh, maybe not the elite of the competitions, but they worked hard the whole time to win and everything else. And what can we do in life? We try, so many people try in life. They've got their objections, they've got their objectives, they want to achieve something. They try, they try, they fall, they try, they fall, they try, they fall, and eventually they succeed. These are the real successful people in life. Sometimes people will say, I've tried hard, I've done my hishtadlut, that's a, that's a thing. And yeah, maybe that might be correct, but sometimes if one wants to excel in something so much, you have to work repeatedly, 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 and then at the end, one will see their just rewards for all the hard work the individual will do in whatever topic it might be. For example, friends, if someone is trying to work on themselves to become a better person at the end, they have to maybe do a lot of uh, great acts, maybe a lot of Torah studying, maybe a lot of studying, working, interaction with other people, the way they speak to other people. They need to work hard on those things because you know, people just shy away and they say, oh, it's not for me. I'm too shy. I'm I, I, I'm, I'm too lazy. I haven't got the effort to do it. I haven't got the work ethic to do it. Those are the people that unfortunately don't necessarily succeed in life. However, if someone wants something and someone works hard and there's an end goal in it at the end, then the just deserts, the reward is going to come. And I've another interesting thing. Sometimes people will work hard and they'll say, oh, I didn't get anything out of this. I've done all this work and I've got nothing out of it. But no, effort does count when it comes to Judaism, when it comes to uh, mitzvot, observance and everything we do. In the, let's just say, the secular world, it could be it's just a trophy that counts at the end, just a medal that counts. However, when it comes to Judaism, just even the chesed someone does, someone does a lot of acts of kindness, it's not the plaque or the reward they will get at the end from the organization or the certificate, you did such and such. All the mitzvot that someone did and all the toil and the effort, that's where the reward will come in this world or in the next world also. It could be some, some people are working hard in Torah or whatever it might be. And they, they, it's very difficult for them. They can't succeed. They, they don't uh, become a budding uh, Torah scholar like the average person. However, still it's the effort that counts with it. If someone is working on their marriage or with the kids, even the kids might go off the derech. It's, unfortunately could happen sometimes even with a lot of work it's still the effort the person's done the person did the effort and you never know sometimes people will say i didn't succeed in this in fact the opposite look how bad everything has become within regards to different topics so i know no imagine how much one could look at it another way and say imagine how much worse it could have ended up if i wouldn't have done this effort at the end and the famous thing that i, I once heard uh, in a drush of it's from uh, Rabbi, Rabbi David Kaplan from uh, Yeshivat Or Sameach. He says that on Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur, so much pleasure is going to come for an individual and so much suffering is going to also unfortunately fall upon us. And it's decreed during that period of time and sealed on Yom Kippur and on the Hosh Hashanah on during Sukkot respectively. However, he says, he adds <coughs> that one can choose where the pleasure will come from and where the suffering, God forbid, is going to come from. So let's give an example. Someone is going to, is decreed 400 suffering points in the course of the year. He can choose. Is he going to have to suffer and take four wisdom teeth out? Uh, 
had like some very painful moments, whatever it will be, or will it be doing the acts of kindness instead, where it's difficult to get up in the morning to help the other people, whatever it be, to work for the charity organizations? Is it on a Sunday morning he decides to be selfless and give to others and teach other people, maybe less uh, fortunate people, to give charity to other people, to take from their pocket, all those things, that's a form of suffering. If someone does those actions, it will t- take away, according to this rabbi, from that suffering, which will come in a much worse place. So that's the thing. We've got to work in life. We have work ethic, not give up any moment, take it to the last minute, and then we can win our own trophies, how it's going to be. So very interesting. And uh, please enjoy this insight. I'm doing a lot more videos. And remember to have an awesome day and have a fantastic Shabbat. And utilize every minute of our times. Be'ezrat Hashem. I would like to dedicate this Devar uh, Torah. Lilu Nishmat, Michael Michael Ziv Halevi Ben Issa Halevi, and make his Neshama of an I think it's going to be just the, he's in the course of the Shiva period at the moment, and maybe this Lilu Nishmat, and maybe we do a lot of mitzvot and Chesed in his memory also. Guys, have an awesome day and Shabbat Shalom. Take care.